thank you very much for being here. This is the Quebec premiere of Oficina Revolution, and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you very much to, to Ezra and Svetla for inviting me here. And well, I speak Spanish, but I kind of speak English as well, so I hope that I can have like a Q&A afterwards. So, so thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Yo salí porque quise cambiar mi destino, quise, no quise eh, el destino que vivía o que vive todas las mujeres en el pueblo. Porque es bien fuerte vivir en un lugar en donde no sabes a qué horas vaya, van a llegar y te van a pedir, ¿no? Y te vas a casar. Ahorita las muchachas de mi edad ya tienen de cuatro, de cinco niños. Yo dije, no, o sea, yo quiero algo diferente. Oaxaca tiene 570 municipios, 418 se rigen por el sistema de usos y costumbres. En casi 100 de ellas la palabra mujer no, no existe en los catálogos de, 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 de las comunidades. ¿no? Yeah, well, it's actually it's a very complicated thing because I think there's things about well, they call uses and customs that are very good because they're they're letting these communities to use the power as as they like to. So they have their representatives. There's people like working for the community, and that's a duty, and you have to fulfill it. And that's good because it's the same people from the community that work for the community and can decide what they want to do, how. How are they going to spend the money? Who's going to do what? So that's a very good thing, so you can get organized. But the bad thing about it, of course, is, and it happens everywhere, is that they, there's like, like two or three people uh, like making all the choices. So if there's one, if they decide that they don't want like women inside, so they don't let her. But there's a very good thing about like prevailing their, their customs and the way of dressing, and so the culture can be held, which is a very good thing. And there is a very good uh, like community work that works. You know that people are working for the community, so they divide their, their duties, like you go and take care of the, of the animals of the community, you go and be a gardener, so, and that works like very well. So I can say that's a very good thing about uses and customs. So, and it's very important to say that it's not that all, all uses and customs are wrong, because that's not true. This, some of them are, are not very good, as you can see, but I think it, it's, it's a question of not like putting everything in the garbage, but saying there's some things that need to be discussed, and we have to make these use and custom better, but not like to put them away. As, because there's a very big fight from the right party to put like everything away. Say, yeah, you see, these people they don't know how to deal with themselves, so we have to put this this away, and that's like very dangerous. Well, I think. Uh, it was very well received. It shows it in a lot of cities and and different festivals and to different like audiences as well. I think that what what Rosina has she's it's like she's very inspiring as you can see. So I like a lot that in a lot of uh, screenings people were now we know that we can do something. They show us that if actually we can put like a little bit of uh, of trends or something, we can change things, because now Mexico now is going like a through very rough period. There's a lot of violence and corruption, and there is this feeling that there's nothing to be done, there's no heroes, you know, everything is bad, everybody's corrupted. So to see a woman that, with all, of course, with, with all her flaws and difficulties, but she's doing something to change what she thinks is wrong. So I think it's giving like some inspiration to people, I, and I, I think that's very valuable, and I like that. Uh, in the other way, we won like a lot of prizes, which is, is very good. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm really happy, but I think it's, it's interesting that it's going to very different communities, uh, to festivals, but small screenings, 
to NGOs as well, and we're going to have like a theatrical release on December, so I think it's going to go like to a broader audience as well, so that's cool. Well, I think she didn't realize what she had, and I think she said that she didn't realize what she was getting into until that moment. It was very shocking because, I mean, I, sp I spent time with her for two years. Of course, not all the time, but, you know, in, in some periods, I was kind of close to her. And in that moment that we, that we went with her and she was, like, taking, uh, you know, power, and at night we went to her house because I needed to know what was happening with her. I know she was really, really frightened, you know. And she was really totally, like, out of herself, you know. She was really, really scared. And it was, like, very shocking after seeing her with so much power just to, he like, to see her at her house, like, all alone, only with us, really, like, crying and being, like, really, really weak because she didn't realize what she was getting to at all. So that was like super strong, you know, like to realize that somebody goes, like so far I didn't realize what she's getting to and with everything that implies, but you know, it's normal, she's human. And what I, I like about her, that like somebody pointed to me, I didn't realize it, like, like so clear, but it's, it's so amazing that a politician, because now she's a politician, have like the, like the strength to say that she's scared, that she have doubts, that she's, she doesn't know that what she's doing. So I think that's very like vulnerable and nice, you know, in a nice way that all the politicians should say that, that they don't know what they're doing. They're gonna try to do their best, but they don't know what they're doing. They're trying, but you know, it's very complicated. And I think that getting, getting into politics is very dirty business, you know? And she didn't realize it, I think, to that moment that she sat with us and she told us, you know, what I'm doing, I'm gonna get, you know, it's just that moment, like just before to jump, that you know you're gonna like jump and, and fall, it's exactly that moment. So I think it was very important to the film to show that, all this vulnerability of her. Well, it took me like like two years to film, then one year and a half to post-produce. So it was like three years and a half, like totally. And it wasn't like very hard to find the money. I started life filming with my own founding. Me and my husband, we went to, you know, I met her and like two week, weeks later, we got to this town that, that you s saw with like where their family was and we started like filming without like knowing what was going to happen of course we just felt there was like something very powerful there so we started then we could like put something together like to show and we got some funding and then like a bigger funding so things got like bigger and bigger and bigger so we have like a like a bigger crew and things start like unfolding we we never knew that she was gonna get there, of course. So we just kind of knew that there was something that could happen, you know? And it was very complicated. One of the things that it was very complicated, she was like all the time, like moving from one place to the other and it was very hard to follow, you know? Like some day she was in Mexico City and the other she was in Oaxaca and the other she was in, in some community. So it was very, very, very hard to follow her. And we, we didn't know where she was all the time. So, she, uh, but I mean, she was working. So it's not that she was like a bad person or something. She was working and doing like a lot of things. The other thing is that that community is like six hours from Oaxaca, and we live in Mexico City. So we have to fly to Mexico City and then go to the community. There's like six hours in a very horrible road that you saw there. It was like full of curves. So it was very hard to get there. Um, but I think one of the most complicated thing is to find what was the story that it was interesting to follow because it wasn't only her, uh, this very powerful woman, but 
what I wanted to say, that it, what it means to get involved like, into politics with all the doubts, all this kind of road that she follows, you know, that was very hard to build. I think that the editing part was very, very, very difficult for me because I had to find that, well, it was like a social fighter, but she decided to go into politics. And in the end, it's not like a very successful story because you have to lose your soul a little bit about that. So I wanted that the film touch a little bit that issue, so it was a little bit, uh, hard to, uh, you know, to put together. And the other thing that I was telling is better that in the meantime, I made this movie, I had, my, uh, I had a daughter in the same time. So it was, it was very complicated. I mean, I, I always say that I have like a double delivery because I had a movie and a baby at the same time. So that was hard. <laughs>
issues and she's like the head of it. So that's a good thing, you know. I think it's a very big fight against it, but I'm very happy that she's standing against that program, for example, you know. And it, I, it's one of the few persons that, that is doing that. Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, I think that the, that the movie's been showing, like, in a lot of places. All, all the Mexican festivals have been there. Uh, it was um, in this, there are these prizes called the Ariel, that is like the Mexican Oscar. Well, it was part of the, in the competition, which was great. And now we're going to be in theatrical release the first week of December, and then we're, we're planning to go to TV. I think the TV is going to be hard because now the PRI, which is, is, the, is, is the party that she's against of, is in power back. So one place that they're controlling is TV. So they told me it's going to be very hard to be in TV. It's been in cinemas, in festivals, everywhere, but TV is going to be hard, I think. Well, I met her because a friend of mine who was a journalist, she introduced me to her because she was she wanted to do some news about her and she told me you must do a film about her, she's super interesting. And at first as I was telling, I didn't know what was gonna happen with her. I was I just thought it was a very interesting character in a very interesting uh, context and something was gonna happen, I didn't know what, but I think that was like a good hunch that I have, thank God I just realized that something good was gonna happen there. I never realized that she was gonna end up there, you know, it was a big surprise, but I think that she was so, was like very open to me, always she was telling me all the truth, what she, and, I, and I told her too, you know, like you have to be careful about getting there, we were all the time like discussing where it was like beyond a relationship of character and director. I think we got uh, like a like a close relationship. Even when she accepted this charge as a congresswoman, she asked us, you know, my husband and she said, "What shall I do? Do you?" I said, "I have to say yes or not." And it was like really hard to tell her, "You're gonna get like with the devil. You <laughs> know, what are you doing?" But we discussed it a lot, so that was very good. We, I think we had a very good relationship with her. Of course, it, it was hard to tell her because she didn't know at all, as she said, what was like, like right wing or left wing. She didn't have, I mean, she didn't understand very well. So imagine that was just one week before she got into a congresswoman. So I say, this is gonna be a disaster. You know, she doesn't have a clue what she's, so we tried to explain her, no, this person, you know, how to be careful, this person, they say all this, but it's not true, and this other person, so we have to give her a little bit of, like political <laughs> classes. Because, so I, I think it was a very nice relationship. Um, and still today, we, we keep like being friends, which I think is, is very good. I don't know if I answer all your question. Yeah. Yeah, actually that's part of a government program. And I mean, it happens, you, you sign for that and they give you a house. The thing, when it doesn't happen is because people, they don't have uh, like the, they don't know that this exists, you know? So she was a little bit like the link to say, you know, this exists, so they help them to get it, you know? And yeah, I mean, the things exist there. Of course, there's some things that I'm not so happy about that you know, is is this kind of communities where they have very kind of um, like earth materials, and that's very nice. And the materials that they have now, they're not so nice. So it's not that they're not good, but it's not part of the community. You know, so I have to say I'm not very happy with that. But yeah, I mean now they do have houses, and that did happen. Yeah. And thank you very much. Well, not, uh, she's not a senator, she's a congresswoman, it's a little bit, but, but yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think she tries, she, I mean, 
she goes a lot there because all the family lives there and she's trying to make things and she actually started building like a better road for all this area, which is great. I mean, she's doing things. Of course, she's not as committed as she was with Kiego, for example. There's people uh, that are working like in the same way that she was working that is there, but of course, she. that's what happened when you get into politics. All the things more like, you know, one-to-one -one person that you used to do, they're lost. So that's, I always say, it's not like a big success story because it's a part that you have to leave behind that, and that is very important. So as I say, I think she's trying to do like her best, but of course there are things that she lost. Mm -hmm.